Hi, my name is John Madeja. I'm the team lead for Lubricants Business Support Team, MDSC. And I'm here to share with you my Plantito experience. It was July when I decided to go home learning from the government that flights are allowed uh, from Manila going to the province. So when I arrived here, I have nothing to do except to work at night. So I decided to embrace becoming a plantito. So today I'm gonna be sharing with you how to plant ornamentals. So as a new plantito, uh, the first uh, ornamental that I learned how to plant is caladium. So um, it's very endemic here in Antique. So to start with, I would usually use a, an ordinary plastic pot and I would put in uh, gravel before I start planting. So underneath my pot, there's gravel. Uh, one tip, um, it's good to get your gravel from Malapit na Sapa, uh, but you can get your gravel nearby seashores. Sea uh, just make sure to wash your gravel so that it will not affect your plant. So I'm now putting in my gravel in my plastic pot. Uh, ang purpose nito para magkaroon siya ng drainage. So para pag nagwater ka, hindi lang magstay doon sa soil yung water. Um, it has a drainage system underneath. So ang ginagawa ko is for my potting mix, I would use uh, like rice hulls mixed it with haze so marami ding palayan around the area so madali lang siya available siya sa amin you don't need here you don't need to buy soil so uh, medyo basa siya kasi naulanan siya overnight uh, but that can do as well so maglagay lang ako ng soil and then I have my loam soil so yung haze kasi uh, and then rice hulls uh, are good fertilizer for the plant. So once na, na decompose siya doon sa soil, uh, it's good. Uh, it, it provides good nutrition for your plants. So it helps for the growth ng, ng panim natin. So usually sa pot na, na ganito, I would put in this amount of soil muna. And then I would put in my uh, caladium. So, ito may konting root na siya. So, I'm not gonna cut that. Pag medyo mahaba siya, like say for example, uh, na nakuha mo siyang mahaba. So, you need to, to cut a little bit of that para uh, hindi siya magsikip doon. And you can still manage um, allowing the plant to stand straight. So, ito, mag-create lang ako ng konting hole sa so potting mix ko and then I'll just put that. So in my case, medyo moist yung yung soil na, na ginagamit ko aside sa wala akong choice umulan kagabi. Um yung caladium loves uh medyo moisty na na soil. So I'll just add a little bit more soil here para uh, magbigay ng strength sa tanim natin. Um, so as you can see, yung soil pa rin na dinadagdag ko, meron pa rin silang mga haze. And then, I will just add more soil to... And then you can press a little para uh, matanggal yung pagkalus ng lupa. And then add some more. soil enough to cover so some people would so ganito lang siya so usually pag bagong tanim yung yung caladium ninyo don't put it under um, heavy sunlight uh, kailangan nito yung uh, bright na area but it can do indoors muna or put it in a place na hindi siya masyadong galawin ng ibang tao. So, ganito na yung plant natin. So, usually, ganyan lang ka dami yung soil. There 
try it um, so para ma make sure lang kasi usually caladiums have long stems lalo pa ito tinanim ko siya na medyo uh, mataas na siya no so para tumayo lang siya ng maayos uh, you can put in like barbecue stick or any sticks na mag support lang to let your plant stand up and then I'm using this one um, I don't know kung anong tawag niya to but then so yung gagawin ko lang is lalagyan ko lang siya ng ganito to help the plant stand a little bit so you don't want to tighten it ang goal lang natin is makatayo yung mga stems niya so usually after like a week or two uh, makikita mo na siya na kahit tanggalin mo na siya it could stand alone sometimes makikita mo na yung old older leaves uh, nagba brown siya so usually pag pag caladium naman you can cut yung mga nag brown ng mga leaves niya and it allows uh, tiny leaves to, to sprout so madali lang siyang patubuhin there you go by becoming a plant tito i was able to convert this mini bodega into some beautiful place wherein i could relax and have a moment with my family so my dad painted the wall all white and then i added the element of a sofa there my mom chose the sofa cover and then I put select plants there. I have caricature plants, fern, uh, variegated oregano, some cactus. And I added, I bought something online to add details to make it more alive. And it's a good place to drink coffee, uh, share stories, and make tambay. Since I started planting, marami-rami na rin ako mga tips na natutunan uh, on how to take care of uh, my plants. So unang-una doon, uh, yung pagdidilig. Sa pagdidilig ng ating halaman, hindi siya kailangang dilig ka ng dilig everyday. So you need to know kung um, ano yung mga needs ng halaman ninyo. So sa pagdidilig din, um, unang-una mong aalamin is kung yung like topmost soil ba niya, moist. So you can touch it, meron silang, so kung medyo pag tingin mo ng daliri mo, um, basa siya. So ibig sabihin doon, hindi mo siya kailangan diligan pa. So this one, uh, while well, mukha siyang basa no, pero pag ginanoon natin, uh, dry na siya. So you don't you 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 may need to water it. Pero mag-aantay pa ako ng mga few more days just like this. Another tip na ma-share ko is where you put your plants. So especially sa mga bagong tanim pa lang, hindi pa sila nag root or um, sensitive pa yung mga tanim ninyo put it in a place na bright pero hindi direct sunlight so in this this is very ideal kasi may konting cover siya up there it allows the, the right amount of sunlight na kailangan ng tanim pero hindi siya super uh, painful sa tanim to allow them to grow this is a rubber tree cutting so I planted this uh, two months ago uh, hindi ako nag water propagate so diretso sa, so sa soil and um, yung kagandahan nito is inayaan ko lang siya so I put it in a place na hindi masyadong uh, nadadaanan ng tao hindi nagagalaw so yun yung kailangan nila no direct sunlight as well um, I'll just take this out um so what I would usually do para ma-energize sila, uh, mahilig ako mag-coffee, ng brewed coffee. So, eto oh, I would just take a small amount of this 
Tapos, maglalagay lang ako marapit sa puno niya. So, just like tayong mga tao, no? May energize tayo. So, what I noticed is I put it in my Calateas, I put it in my Aglonimas, and uh, mabilis sumibol yung mga, yung mga tanim. So, you can try it also. Just put a little. So, dito, sobrang happy ako dito sa sa rubber tree na to kasi it sprouted not just one leaf but a lot of nodes at maraming leaves so I waited for two months and then seeing this it brings me joy isa sa mga nakakatuwang bagay na gawin as a plantito is labeling your plants kasi uh, I would use the picture this application to know the names to identify the names of the plants so here sobrang gandang ganda ako dito sa golden pothos na to so I named that I even bought yung um, name tag na to and then I would put that in each of my plants naming my plant even that serves as a conversation piece pag uh, ipinalit ko siya doon sa aking tambayan kasi nako curious din yung mga visitors kung ano yung mga pangalan ng mga tanim so I highly encourage you guys to try planting uh, this is a good way to you know um, de-stress this is a good way to um, find other purpose like you know um, being responsible to another life form so that gives me a certain level of joy as I do planting every day so when I say planting not necessarily na mag plant ng, ng new um, types of plant but uh, to take care of your plants be it watering be it putting fertilizer or be it taking care of them I don't usually talk to them, but it brings me joy seeing them grow.